frustrating. Just kind of working up and, and kind of working yourself into this moment after 12 games back, or 12 games off. Is it how, you just mentioned how frustrating is it to sustain something that you do week in and feel like that's kind of the best you that you've ever had? I mean, yeah, it's, I don't really, I mean, it's just frustrating. I'm just glad we won. Great team win. Everybody played well. And, uh, yeah, it's on to the next. I don't think it matters right now, to be honest with you. I'm just glad we won. I'm doing good. I'm you know, a little set back, but we'll be, we'll be back soon. No, it's tough. You know, he's shooting over guys and still hitting. Um, so when he gets hot, you know, the defense got to pay a lot of attention to him. And um, that obviously allows, you know, the, uh, the the weak side help defenders to be a little later. Um, and then Yoke is kind of picking them apart in the, in the pocket. So it's, it's tough um, when he's making shots and, uh, you know, especially, all, you know, all throughout the game. He's been amazing. He's been amazing. Um, aggressiveness, fearlessness. Um, you know, being, being a leader out there, uh, not worrying about Mr. Make, just going on to the next play, playing tough on defense, even if he gets scored on or whatever, makes a, a, a defensive breakdown. You know, he's right there on the next play, playing physical. So, you know, I think he's been he's been great. He's been great. Um, just figuring it out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Last game, DJ, uh, DJ and everybody, DJ and <clears throat> uh, Reg play really well, and they're the two – doing the most damage, but you know, everybody makes big plays on the stretch. If you don't shoot well or play well, um, you know, you can just still impact the game. So I think everybody's fine now. You know, you don't have to shoot well to, to be on the court. You know, you just got to do everything else. Is there any place on the court where you guys are more comfortable with the basketball than in the pocket with the ball? Like just what it seems like whenever the ball gets there, it's, it's either an automatic bucket or he's creating something. MVP. MVP. It's tough to guard them, especially if they're up on me. Um, or they don't want to give me a mid-range um, or a floater or whatever. Um, you know, when he's playing four on three, you know, it's tough. He's looking guys off um, right in the middle of the, of the floor. Um, and then when he rolls and he's getting a few times, and like I said, Mike is the one shaking up. So it's hard to, it's hard to read that. It's hard to do something for the defense every possession and, and plan on it. So when we're mixing it up like that, it's tough to – we just keep teams off balance and you don't know where we're striking from. And um, like we got a lot of weapons that can come and impact the game. Probably. Yeah, I mean, I understand your question, but no, um, at least not with the hamstring too much. Um, no, I wouldn't be out there if I wasn't comfortable, you know, so just. Uh, hamstring is good, man. The hamstring's fine. I've I've worked I've worked enough to, to get it back to strength. Um, now it's just another another thing. So uh, I just gotta work on that, and hopefully I'll be ready. How would you say maybe going out is compared to maybe your days on the team? Do you feel like you still have your full game? How am I feeling now? Yeah, uh, just compared to when you first got here. I feel good. That's actually just being unselfish, especially at home. We gotta bring that to the road, though. You know, we're so good at home, just being unselfish and moving the ball and trusting each other and, and point five mentality. You know, even if somebody's scoring or not, um, we just play a lot more free and um, free flowing. So our challenge is to to do that on the road as well in a hostile environment and, and not lose um, belief on the road or um, the confidence that we or the swag that we play with at home is kind of bringing that on the road and and. You know, even teams going on run is teams going on run. We're at home. It's the same thing. We just got to be able to, to free focus and uh, do a better job. You know, against an environment that's against us. What did you observe from the team during, especially during that losing streak? But what, what did you guys find out? What, what did you notice about the team? Uh, we're a good team, and we just need to stay with it. You know, I don't want to overthink over. We have guys out. We're struggling. We struggled for a few games, and I, you know. 
we'll pick it up like we did today and move on to the next. You know, we got a lot of games during the season, and um, you know, you can't hang your head on one game. So we lost two games ago, and we've bounced back pretty well. So, um, like I said, it's just it's just bringing that. We don't want to wait to wait to come home to feel good and play well. You know, we've got to bring that on the road and and uh, stay consistent with our energy. Uh, just this pace and patience, you know, picking his spots. You know, they 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 throw some they throw so many different looks at him. Uh, it's it's great how he sometimes he passes, sometimes he doesn't, um, sometimes he holds it, waits for the defense to make a mistake. Um, just like I said, they try to keep him off balance, but at the same time he's keeping them off balance. And then when you add me, Mike, and every every other throw on the court, it's tough to um, just take away one person or just take away us two. You know, there's Mike had I don't know how many he had. He had. Uh, yeah, 30. So my bad. Um, like I said, Mike had 30. You have basically just catch a shoot and, and slash into the rim. And um, yeah, like I said, it's just tough to guard. Uh, it's a lot of fun playing with uh, those guys out there. Thank you, Mike.